Hey everybody, this is Ozzy Rodriguez bringing you a video for the tutorial PSD2 Dynamic for Genesis. Um, part 1 didn't have a video to it. Uh, it was just basically uh, getting everything that you're going to need to uh, follow along with the tutorial software you're going to need. Um, where to find the tutorial, where to find the PSD file that we're going to be uh, using. Um, you can download it from their site. Uh, it looks like this. Uh, you can see what our kind of what our finished product is, is going to look like. And uh, once you download the PSD file, if you don't want to slice it up yourself, uh, you can actually download the slices um, that are going to be used in this tutorial. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, you're going to want to uh, have WordPress installed, upload your Genesis framework as well as the dynamic child theme, activating the dynamic child theme. <clears throat> you're going to want some dummy content, which uh, in the article, um, part two of the uh, of the series, you can actually download the XML content um, that I'll that I'm have here on the site um, and then you can import it. Uh, the first thing I like to do is go into dynamic design and upload all of the images that I'm going to be using. So I've already done that for the sake of time. And then the next step is deciding whether you want to have a responsive uh, design or not a responsive design. Uh, for the tutorial we're going to do a responsive. So we're going to click on that, save changes and then we're going to get into styling the body. Uh, so we have to pick a font and if we go into the Photoshop uh, to the PSD file we can see that they're using a font called Lobster. Um, that's actually a Google font and Dynamic comes preloaded with, with some uh, Google fonts. Um, so we'll select that uh, we're going to leave the universal font control alone. Uh, the headings, most of them are using uh, a color that we find here. Um, so we're going to end up, we're going to use uh, this color for those. And the body font um, we're going to use the same color that they use for the font inside of their their widgets or what will become our widgets. Uh, it's a dark brown font. Um, the link control, we're going to use a red that I found in the PSD file. And we'll leave the link underline on hover. Uh, for the body background, uh, we'll use, we're going to zoom in all the way as far as we can and get the very bottom of the footer. Copy that and paste it in for our body. Save changes. And now we're going to get into the wrap. I like to move from uh, left to right and then uh, go down start over on the next row. Now uh, the wrap background we're going to use one of the slices. Uh, we're going to do a horizontal and vertical repeat. Uh, no color and it's the header slider BG uh, background. It's a striped. Um, for the inner background we're going to go transparent. Um, we're not going to use a wrap box uh, shadow and we're going to go with a fluid design. So once we're all set we're going to save changes. You can refresh the site and see kind of what we're working with right now. So it's starting to take shape. Uh, let's style our uh, header. Um, so the title font because we uh, added the colors in the universal, um, it's taking that that color, but we're actually not going to use um, regular text. We're going to use our logo. So we're going to select the logo here. 
um, and with uh, now if you refresh you see that nothing's really changed but that's because in Genesis uh, you have to tell it that you want to use a logo so if you click there it'll take you right where you need to go select image logo and now if you refresh you'll see our logos there but it's kinda cut off so we'll go back to uh, design settings header. Um, and also so it's cut off and then the background is white um, so what we're gonna wanna do is set this to transparent and here's where we're gonna undo the clipping of the logo so our, our logo is 217 pixels we'll round it up to 220 and then we'll add that extra width onto the the widget uh, the header height we're gonna make the same height as the logo which is 148 uh, the header widget padding we're gonna be using a navigation menu and so we're gonna need that to be about 40 pixels away from the top So now if we save changes do a refresh wait for my stuff to refresh we see that our logo is there uh, the background is good and everything's starting to take shape so that'll do it for this uh, video uh, in the next video we'll start uh, styling our navigation um, so both the top navigation and the header navigation see you next time